<gasps> Look who's back, Nakalia. Aleeners ah. and Sai Sai. Hi, Sai Sai. Oh, you see that? Wow, I got that for Kobe. Where's Kobe? Where's the codes? Yeah, I, sometimes I'm like, why do I come? Why? I just swept. I was about to start mopping, but the kids are here now. It's okay. Okay. Okay, guys, look at her phone case. Look at her phone case. Did she show you the cool? Oh, okay, there you go. She has a layer. I'll link it down below for y'all if y'all like Hello Kitty. That's super cute, girly. I'll send it to you. So, I wanted to show you guys the kids right now. Get it, Kobe, Kobe, Kobe. Get it, Silas. Get it, Silas. Get it, Ali. Hey, Jericho. Get it, Jericho. Get it. Get it. Get it, Jericho. Get it, Kali. Get it, Kali. Hey, get it, get it. I love veggies. Anyways, I am in the kitchen. I was just cleaning the um, stove. And I realized, like, while the kids were dancing and stuff, I'm like, I never really feel myself deep cleaning like that anymore. Just because, y'all, I be having the kids with me all the time, and that's my excuse. But, like, I honestly, I'm sure y'all probably feel the same way. The only thing is that I have to remind myself to, re to record, like, I, I vlog my life, you know? But I just be wanting to get it done. Like, I don't want to worry about, like, putting my camera and doing angles and... I need to get used to it because this is my job and I've been doing it. But when I start cleaning, I just want to get it done. But, you know, while we're here, I'm going to show you guys the way my stove looks. It needs some cleaning. Um, I have these little scrubs. These are for your feet. But I have a whole bunch of new ones. And it, it's actually really good to, like, scrub as well, like, while you're cleaning. So I got these. I'll link them down below if you guys want. Cause this is like for mopping and stuff but like i said i have a whole bunch of new ones and this is new anyway so let me go ahead and keep cleaning I need a tripod too like just to have y'all like up here somehow yeah i need to get one for my birthday my birthday's coming up july 6th so if somebody asks me what i want i'm gonna say that like a tripod like a hanging over tripod type of thing or a tripod in general for my phone because i've been using my phone a lot lately anyways let me stop laughing Las cuerdas de mi cora Me viendo cantando las canciones Cuando me enojas Bebe tú eres mi ritmo Una musa pa' este disco Una canción con cafecito No sabes cuando me abrazas Como un cafecito por la mañana yeah. mm. Fumando marido en bote y dándome esos besitos de dulce Tocando las cuerdas de mi cora Tocando las cuerdas de mi cora Bebé, tú eres mi ritmo Una musa pa' este disco Una canción con cafecito oh, oh. Tocando las cuerdas de mi cora Bésame debajo de las estrellas en la noche Una constelación de ti Quédate despierto hasta el amanecer Amor, volvámonos locos juntos hey, hey. Ay, 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 pullin' on my heartstrings, play it real slow Pay you like a French girl, you a Van Gogh Don't be like Rose, baby, never let go Voice like Pino, lips like Merlot uh. Pana caribeña con el body flow Una chica timida con ganas de darme show Dime leo cafecito, ni el leo llego, solo un chipito Quiero tu alma, pero bien negrito Smoke a little tree for the buzz in the deep throat 
lo necesito Tú eres mi favorito delito Ojalá te queda por un ratito Listo Tocando las cuerdas de mi cora Tocando las cuerdas de mi cora Bebé, tú eres mi ritmo Una musa para este disco Una canción con cafecito oh, oh. Tocando las cuerdas de mi cora The next day. Honestly, I haven't seen that focused on a movie in so long. And I'm glad that likes it because this used to be one of my favorite movies growing up. And it's Cinderella. Even Kobe's focused. Yeah, I finished working out probably like 15 minutes ago and I'm outside. I was talking to my friend. I was doing like voice messages so I came outside 
because we were talking about adult stuff and it feels so good out here like it's hot but like after my workout like the little breeze you yeah, hear the trees okay no somebody's like working on something in their house there's like construction going, construction going on but look look do you hear that okay the construction is messing it up but um yeah it feels really good out here i'm talking to my friend about new york because she lives in new york and trying to set up some plans it's gonna be a jam-packed weekend my sister was like yeah we're not sleeping this weekend so <sighs> yeah sometimes i forget to come out here and just enjoy the breeze like I'm, i never really be sitting out here i wish like if this was my house like my house house where i own it i would put some like cement out here and have like patio chairs and a little table and it would be look, like cute and then the back too but the only thing that sucks about the back like i could get furniture this now i'm like talking about something else i could get furniture but the mud or the dirt i should say in the back or just in this neighborhood in general like this block when it rains it's so bad like i would have to in order to get um furniture in the backyard you would have to have cement laid down already and then put furniture on top like you can't i can't just get furniture and just put it out in the back because it will literally sink to the ground because the dirt is just so soft when it rains so that's why somebody asked me the other day like oh why don't you get like a little pool for the kids in the back and that's why my sister used to always try to put pools in the back and she would literally have it for just a few days because with the kids coming in and out it would just get so muddy and the dirt was like i said so soft she would even put um like is it called tarp i think that's the word like she would put something under the the pool so the kids could um when they get out of the pool they can land on that but even that like the water would still get on the dirt it was bad so yeah that's one one of the reasons why i don't have literally anything in the backyard but um and once again if it was my house if i was the owner of this house i would even though cement is expensive but i would try to um invest in like a deck or something like how my sister has so right now i'm just sitting on our soccer chairs it feels good out here right talia just came out here <laughs> all right you guys i made myself some lunch i have a little bit of rice on the bottom that my mom made yesterday some chicken that does been made yesterday a bunch of pico lettuce and a little bit of sour cream and that is what i'm having for lunch <laughs> Said you won't, but the way that I want it don't matter 'cause I want you the most. And if I can't be close to you, no matter what I try to do, another hundred times I make it right next to you. My memories follow me until I get it right. Whoa, nah, 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 oh baby, oh yeah. The smell of you, I know it's right in the air. I'm still chasing you 'cause I know this is not enough. If you can be next to me, we'll feel like we're just meant to be. I need you for life. If I don't make it tonight, then luckily there's always tomorrow in my formula. Oh, I'm not a fool to chase it. Formula. No, no, I need you to get kind of me. Formula. Oh, it's only for you. If you don't fit in, then I guess nobody will. Yeah. It's in the time. I think we're getting there midway. I'm all in it right now. Me up so don't matter. Man. Outside, and I feel it right now, yeah. But you've been looking so lost, oh yeah, 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 yeah. I was just pulling out that alchemy, and just like that, be a finale. All right, so I feel like I haven't really updated you guys, but me and my sister went to the store to. I had to look to make sure that I um had my doors locked because we are at 7-Eleven, and I just always the second I park the car and my sister gets out, I always lock the doors. That's just me. I don't know if that's like a New York thing or, you know, like living in a big city type of thing. But, anyways, 
so yeah we went to the store because um like i've been mentioning this past few days um, me and her are going to new york and it's um gonna be a short weekend but our weekend is gonna kind of be jam-packed so we went into ross and i don't really like the ross out here the ross here sucks at least for me it does i don't really like find anything my size or things that i like but today i did i guess it's the, because of the summertime or whatever but um i found a couple things and i'll show you guys when i get home so cute and my sister found a dress for me and she ended up buying it for me which is so sweet she's like it's part of your birthday gift and she was the one who picked it out she's like oh my god this is so cute it's but Carly got herself a soldiers. I was just telling them about the clothes yeah. in Ross. Then usually I don't find shit, but with Carla, yeah. she be helping me find stuff. But yeah, it was cute. The stuff you got, you told them what you got. Yeah, I'm gonna show them when I get home. Yeah, it was cute. I found her cute. But yeah, anyways, we're having sister time. I'm about to go drop her off though. So bye. Alrighty, you guys. I just got back home from the store, and I totally remembered when I got here that the dress that my sister bought me and i bought another dress too it's all in the same bag like it's all in a bag that she took so yeah i can't even show you what i got but yeah so i'm very excited for this weekend though i'm gonna be hanging out with friends and it's also me and my friend kenyatta's like birthday week next week and we're gonna be celebrating that because she's going to new york as well and i'm just very excited like i'm also very happy i feel like i'm finally finally at a place in my life where i feel comfortable speaking about certain things that have occurred in the past few years when it comes to love and relationships i feel like um the past couple years i wouldn't say that was my main focus but it was one of my focuses you know obviously my main focus is always going to be my babies and my kids i'm a mom first you know i feel like the past couple years has been very chaotic emotionally and i feel like i'm in a great place in my life right now like i have a good circle of girlfriends in my life and i just feel at, like i'm at a point in my life where i don't need that in my life which was something that after like my separation with my baby daddy which is crazy because he lives with me now but i felt like i needed attention from males right because that's all i knew um even before him i was just always in a relationship right and then obviously i was married for five years i feel like i'm going on a tangent but i was married for five years i was with him for six that year that we were separated was horrible and then i told myself and i preached to myself that i don't need a man i i need to just be by myself and i stopped dating and stuff but i was still lonely and i still felt like i craved that love and i just wanted it Kelly is here yes and i i didn't want to be alone but now like don't get me wrong that's still something that i i would want eventually but right now i don't want it you know right now i feel good without it I, like i'm finally at a point in my life where i'm not craving it you know and i feel great <laughs> anyways that's the end of today's vlog and like i mentioned Tr like in my life try your best to you know work on yourself but i feel like everybody's journey is just different because like i've mentioned there was a time in my life where i was like i'm gonna work on myself i'm focusing on myself but my heart was saying something else and it was like i was putting my heart over my mind and over my focus and i like i said i'm in a very good place in my life now that i'm like nah i am important and i truly need to work on me and focus on me and pour all of that love that i give to everybody else into myself finally you know so try your best to do that for you too for yourself too anyways i love y'all and surround yourself with people who make you laugh don't drain you and truly want what's best for you in your life and truly love you and care for you and show you that they do as well and you guys will see me later peace out